over the last two videos, we have seen two important types of energy at work. We learned that kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It depends on how fast something moves and how heavy it is. We also learned that potential energy is stored energy. It depends on an object's height and mass. Both of these are forms of mechanical energy. The energy an object has because of its motion and position. They constantly shift back and forth as objects move through space. In this video, we are putting it all together to understand how they interact. Today, let's learn about the conservation of mechanical energy. So, what is conservation of mechanical energy? The conservation of mechanical energy states that the mechanical energy remains constant in a closed system in the absence of dissipative forces like friction or air resistance. This means that potential energy can become kinetic energy or vice versa, but energy cannot disappear. Imagine a skater on a U-shaped track. At the top of the ramp, the skater starts with all potential energy and no kinetic energy. As they drop down, that potential energy transforms into kinetic energy as they speed up downward. At the bottom, they are moving the fastest with the most kinetic energy and the least potential energy. Then, as they climb the other side, that kinetic energy turns back into potential energy. If there's no friction or air resistance, the skater would keep swinging back and forth forever, with the total mechanical energy staying constant. But in real life, motion doesn't last forever. Over time, the skater slows down and eventually stops. Why does this happen? That's because of friction and air resistance, which act like brakes. These forces convert some of the mechanical energy into heat, slowly draining energy from the system. Imagine a roller coaster slowly climbing to the top of the track. At that moment, when it's at its highest point and not moving, most of its energy is potential energy. It has height and gravity is ready to pull it down. Then, as it plunges downward, that potential energy begins to change. The coaster picks up speed and that stored energy becomes kinetic energy, the energy of motion. By the time it reaches the bottom of the trap, its potential energy is low, but its kinetic energy is at its peak. It's moving really fast. Throughout the ride, mechanical energy keeps shifting between potential and kinetic, back and forth. But the total stays the same, as long as we ignore friction and air resistance. It's a perfect example of how energy transforms without being lost. Now, picture a child on a swing. At the highest point of the swing, the child momentarily pauses, not moving, but full of potential energy because of the height. As the swing drops down and picks up speed, that potential energy transforms into kinetic energy. At the bottom of the swing, the child is moving the fastest with maximum kinetic energy and minimum potential energy. Then, as the swing rises to the other side, the speed slows down and the kinetic energy converts back into potential energy. This back and forth motion shows how energy shifts smoothly between kinetic and potential, just like with a roller coaster. 
without air resistance or friction at the pivot, the swing would keep going forever with energy simply changing form but never disappearing. So, what have we learned today? Remember that mechanical energy refers to the total of an object's kinetic and potential energy. The law of conservation of mechanical energy tells us that in the absence of friction and air resistance, this total energy stays the same. It just transforms from one form to another. Whether it's a roller coaster speeding down a track, a child swinging back and forth, or a pendulum ticking inside a clock, mechanical energy keeps moving and changing, but it doesn't disappear. In the real world, some energy is lost as heat or sound due to friction and air resistance. But even then, the total energy is conserved. It just changes form. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. And that's it for today. See you next time and stay curious.